Rapid City area legislators fielded questions from the public on current issues at Saturday morning's second Elevate Rapid City Legislative Cracker Barrel. Brad Walton was at Western Dakota Tech today to hear about the issues impacting the region. Around 75 members of the public showed up to talk with their representatives about current issues in the Black Hills region. The attendance was very good. The citizens who come to these events are always interested and that's why they're here. They want to talk to their legislators and they want to discuss issues that are important to them. One of the topics which garnered substantial discussion was a bill to boost the Black Hills timber industry which has been struggling for a couple of years. All sorts of things weren't able to mark the trees as they could so the harvest number has actually been impacted by a couple years ago with COVID. That might seem hard to believe but that's, that is actually the truth. Senate Bill 144 written by State Senator David Johnson, would fund development at airports across South Dakota. Our airports are, are stressed and they're way over capacity. We have airlines and, that want to come into Rapid City, but they can't because there's no room at the terminal. This bill would provide $90 million in funds for airport infrastructure projects. Other legislative prospects explored at the Cracker Barrel include public election of state attorney generals and secretaries of state, raising the minimum wage for teachers, and a new elementary school in Box Elder. Reporting for Coda Territory News, I'm Brad Walton.